Okay, so I considered for a while whether or not to do this video because it might make people think that I don't like Elizabeth Warren. And to be honest, some of her policies are kind of crazy, but others are really not that bad. So anyway, uh, I don't have anything against her personally, but she's just too good an example. You know, she's Elizabeth Warren is too good an example to pass up of how not to answer a question. So I had to do this video. Anyway, here's the question from the moderator. Senator Warren, we've proposed, you've proposed some sweeping plans, free public college, free universal child care, eliminating most Americans' college debt, and you've said how you're going to pay for those plans, but you have not specified how you're going to pay for the most expensive plan, Medicare for all. Will you raise taxes on the middle class for pay, to pay for it, yes or no? So that was a fairly straightforward yes or no question, and he even says yes or no at the end of the question. Now let's see what Warren does. So I have made clear what my principles are here. So at this point you can already tell she's going to dodge the question, right? As soon as she said, my principles, which have nothing to do with the question of whether taxes will go up. But let's see what she says after. And that is, costs will go up for the wealthy and for big corporations, and for hardworking middle-class families, costs will go down. So real quick, I just want to point out this is something that politicians like to do all the time. They invoke the middle class. The reason's quite simple. Most people think of themselves as being in the middle class. There are different types of stigma attached to being poor or being rich, especially the latter if you're, you know, in the Democratic Party. So most people think of themselves as middle class. Politicians keep saying, oh, this is going to help the middle class. So just pay attention to how many times she invokes the middle class. Uh, you know, the way I see this is I have been out all around this country. I've done 140 town halls now, been to 27 states in Puerto Rico. Should have done 70,000 selfies, which must be the new measure of democracy. And this gives people a chance to come up and talk to me directly. So I've talked with the family, the mom and dad whose daughter's been diagnosed with cancer. I have talked to the young woman whose mother has just been diagnosed with diabetes. I've talked to the young man who has MS. And here's the thing about all of them. They all had great health insurance right at the beginning. But then they found out when they really needed it, when the costs went up, that the insurance company pulled the rug out from underneath them and they were left with nothing. Look, the way I see this, it is hard enough to get a diagnosis that your child has cancer, to think about the changes in your family if your mom's got diabetes, or what it means for your life going forward if you've been diagnosed with MS. But what you shouldn't have to worry about is how you're going to pay for your health care after that. So that was her answer. The moderator asked her, will taxes go up, yes or no? She says, costs will go down, and then goes on to talk about a few very touching stories. No mention about whether taxes will go up. So now this guy's going to push her a little bit to try and get her to answer the question. Senator Warren, to be clear, Senator Sanders acknowledges he's going to raise taxes on the middle class to pay for Medicare for all. You've endorsed his plan. Should you acknowledge it too? So you can see he puts a little bit of pressure on her by saying, hey, you know, one of the other candidates who is very similar to you and whose plan you previously endorsed did this, maybe you should do this too. That makes it a little harder, a little more costly for her to dodge the question again. So let's see how she responds. So the way I see this... And you can already tell it's going to be another dodge, but let's hear her out. It is about what kinds of costs middle class families are going to face. So let me be clear on this. Costs will go up for the wealthy, they will go up for big corporations, and for middle class families, they will go down. I will not sign a bill into law that does not lower costs for middle class families. Those of you who were paying attention might have caught that she used the word middle class three times in that short statement. But did you notice what else she did? Let's just have a quick look. So let me be clear on this. Costs will go up for the wealthy, they will go up for big corporations, and for middle class families, they will go down. Did anyone catch that? The moderator asks her the question. She says, let me be clear, and then she doesn't answer the question, and repeats the same thing that she said last time she dodged the question. This is something else that politicians love to do when they either don't have an answer or don't want to answer a question. First, they give you some sort of qualifying statement, or they say something like, I'd be happy to answer your question, or here's exactly what I'm going to do, 
or in this case, let's be clear on this. Then they proceed to give you a clear, concise, solid answer to a question they were never asked. Recall what's happened so far. First, the moderator asked Warren, will taxes go up? She said, costs will go down for the middle class. And then the moderator asked her to clarify, okay, but will taxes go up? And Warren says, let's be clear, costs will go down. After you learn to look for these kinds of things, it just becomes absolutely hilarious watching politicians answer questions. And you kind of think to yourself, how do you vote for someone who does this? But anyway, let's contrast that with how Bernie Sanders answered the question. At the end of the day, the overwhelming majority of people will save money on their health care bills. But I do think it is appropriate to acknowledge that taxes will go up. They're going to go up significantly for the wealthy. And for virtually everybody, the tax increase they pay will be substantially less, substantially less than what they were paying for premiums and out-of-pocket expenses. So this guy's being really authentic and honest. He's saying, yes, taxes will go up, but for the vast majority of Americans, net costs will go down because the cost of health care will decrease by a greater amount than the increase in taxes. Now, if you notice, this is the exact same argument Warren keeps making, except she, for some reason, refuses to acknowledge the very simple math that makes up the argument. Now, I don't know why that is. I mean, maybe she thinks Americans are too dumb to figure that out. Maybe she just doesn't want a soundbite out there of her saying taxes will go up. If any of you can think of a reason why she's doing this, definitely put it in the comment section. So feel free to pause this video and go ahead and do that. Okay, now let's see what the moderator says. Well, Senator, Senator Warren, answer, will, will you um, acknowledge what the senator just said about taxes going up? So your first impression might be, okay, he's pushing her to answer the question again. That was what I thought at first too. But another way to interpret this, and this is the way I interpret this, you can say that he's giving her a chance to redeem herself because she looks really bad right now. She very obviously dodged a direct question and then dodged the follow-up to that question where the moderator pushed her. And then Sanders comes out and provides the answer that everybody was trying to get out of her. So Warren looks really bad at this point, and I would interpret this as the moderator giving her another chance to redeem herself. Let's see if she takes it, and you probably already know the answer. So, my view on this... I could end the video right here, but... We'll give her a chance, see if she says anything new. And what I have committed to is costs will go down for hardworking middle-class families. I will not embrace a plan like Medicare for all who can afford it that will leave behind millions of people who cannot. And I will not embrace a plan that says people have great insurance right up until you get the diagnosis and the insurance company says, sorry, we're not covering your expensive cancer treatments. We're not covering your expensive treatments you, for Senator. MS. She did say something new. Aren't you glad you stayed? And once again, this is something that politicians love to do. They list all the bad things that they won't do, even if those bad things were at no point part of the discussion in the first place. Warren says, she won't embrace a plan that'll leave people without health insurance who can't afford health insurance. She also says she won't embrace a plan that will allow companies to refuse to pay people's health insurance. I'm pretty sure no candidate on this stage is for either of those two things, but this is just one of the things that politicians like to do all the time. And Elizabeth Warren is a master politician. Now, if you don't like people who do this, well, you're in luck. There are certain candidates in the 2020 Democratic primary that don't do this, or at least far less than the career politicians. Who are those candidates? Well, I'll leave that up to you. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Now, if you like these kinds of analysis videos, then be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it on Facebook or wherever. Oh, and of course, make sure you subscribe. Yeah. Now let's give the final word to a certain not straight mayor from South Bend. Mayor Buttigieg, you say Senator Warren has been, quote, evasive about how she's going to pay for Medicare for all. What's your response? Well, we heard it tonight. A yes or no question that didn't get a yes or no answer. <laughs>
Yang, 2020 Freedom Dividend. Climate change is real again. Science rules. Teachers bring a wholesome bread. Medicare for every citizen. 